We are going to move on now and talk about line plots or dot plots. Sometimes you'll hear it called line plots, sometimes you'll hear it called dot plots, but they're basically meaning the same thing. This is a way that we can display the data, such as mean, median, mode, and range, mean absolute deviation, and measures of variation onto a visual grid. So first off, we need to start with the vocab of what is a dot plot. It is a visual display of a distribution of data values where each data value is shown as a dot or other mark, usually an X, above a number line. It's also known as a line plot. So, for example, A. Students held a car wash to raise money for charity. The dot plot shows the amount of money they collected for each vehicle they washed. How many vehicles did they wash? What is the mean amount they collected per vehicle? What is the median amount they collected per vehicle? So, step one, we find the total number of vehicles washed. You just count the number of dots or X's. Each dot represents one observation, or in this case, one vehicle. So, if we count them up, we can see that we have three in the first column here, three here, and three here, so that's nine. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, four here, two here, and three here. So three, six, nine, plus seven is 16, plus four is 20, 22, and 25. So we have a total of 25 vehicles. Step two, we want to find the mean, okay? Just a refresher, the mean means the average. So we add up all the totals, and then we divide by how many numbers we added. Now, on this one, you have to look at the numbers at the bottom of the number line. So you're looking at these down here. This is the actual total that they spent. So for this one, they spent $12, and we have three dots there. So you would have to multiply three times 12 to get the total for that. You do the same thing here. This one did 13. We had three people that did 13, so 3 times 13 is 39. 14 is the same thing, so you have 3 times 14 is 42. For 15, we'd multiply it times 7, because there's 7 dots, so then you get 105. 18, we have 4 to get that total. 19, you have 2 to get that total, and 20 we have three to get this total. Then we just add up all of our sums. You can also go through and add each one separately. So you could do 12 plus 12 plus 12, 13 plus 13 plus 13, 14 plus 14 plus 14, etc. Either way, you should still get the same total of 392. Then you divide by the number of observations. That's where we go back to the 25, because there's 25 dots. So we take our 392 and divide it by 25 and get the mean of $15.68. Step three, find the median. Once again, the median is the middle point. So if we have 25 data points, the middle is going to be the 13th point. Sorry. The middle is going to be the 13 point, so we count to find our middle, or you can cross them off till you get to the middle point. Either way you do it, your 13th dot, or your middle, is at $15, so your median is $15. Okay, now, what is the mode and range of the amounts that we collected? Well, the first one we're going to look at is the mode. So now we have the chart on here so we can look which one is in there the most often. If we look, it's pretty easy to see. You just have to look at which one has the most dots. So in this case, the one with the most dots is 15. So the mode would be 15. For our range, we have to look at our lowest amount, which is here, and our highest amount, which is here. So we take 20 and 12 and we subtract to find our range, which gives us 8. So eight would be our range. Okay, now what is the IQR? Remember, you have to find the median of your lower half of the data and your median of the upper half of the data. 
try it and then we will check it here in a second. Okay, so example B, Navinia surveyed 20 students to find the number of calls they made in a 24-hour period. Her results are shown below. Make a dot plot of the data. Are there any patterns or deviations in the data? And then here are your numbers that you are using. So step one, the first thing you do is find your minimum and maximum values so that you know which your smallest number you have to have on your line and the greatest number. So we put them in order from least to greatest, which I did here. Your least value is zero, your greatest value is nine. So then on step two, we can draw our plot. We know the number line can go from one, zero to 10 and we have enough numbers for our data. Second thing on here is you draw a dot above the number line to show each observation in the list. So I did that here. Label the number line to show the units. So the numbers at the bottom are the number of calls and then you need to give the dot plot a title. This is calls made by students. Then we need to look at the patterns or deviations in the data. For most students, we can see the calls, most calls were made three to five per night, and the most significant call was nine in a 24 hour period, which is much higher than the rest of them. So let's practice. I want you to find the mean and the median number of calls off of this data that we just created.